morning everyone. Today we come down from Fadamore Sea to have a little look around, see what's what. This is just as far as I can get. Bridge was safe enough to park the car to have a little look. So this is this is it from a distance and we're gonna go inside and have a little look around the town itself. It's a very old town as you're aware, shop and the uh, musician lived there. And um this is about it really it's just outside Palma and it's obviously it's very local. There's only two thousand people live there all year round, but a lot of the time obviously it's filled up to the brim with holiday makers and people just go and have a look from the trips. So let's go and have a look at what we can find. Well, it's very traditional with cobblestones and the houses build out the local brickwork. It's, it's just very, very nice. Oh, some lemon trees up there and very close still to the, um, the main road. It's quite, there's quite a lot happening here by the looks of it. So I'm going to continue your search. I've noticed whilst I've been walking around, some of the houses here have got these little plaques with pictures on them. Makes it look quite nice. It's quite a quaint little town I've noticed so far. Chopin used to live here, we'll have a look at his house in a minute. There's a statue up outside there, his castle housing. And if you touch it, it's, it says you either get pregnant or you can play the musical instrument very nicely. I've always wanted to play the piano, I might give it a touch later. This is Chopin area. There's a few museums here, a couple of gift shops, and a few restaurant cafes here. So these, these are Chopin's garden, where we lived in this house we saw a minute ago. So this is Chopin's statue. As I said to you earlier, legend says if you touch it, you either get musically talented or you get pregnant. So be warned. And it's all surrounded by roses. So as you can imagine, it smells quite nice here. And this is the rest of the gardens there. So this is the side view of the house, the church, whatever you want to call it, where Shopping used to stay when he came here next to the gardens.
side streets, a little pearl shop, a museum shop. The buildings are so nice around here. Views you're looking at is the top of the tower, which costs three euros to come up. Loads and loads and loads of steps, but it's well worth the view when you get up here, as you can see. That's where I just was. From the ground up there, it's 82 steps. And it was three euros to go up there. So it was quite a nice view as you saw yourself. If you're here, well we're having a little butchers. So this is a view we saw a couple of minutes ago from the top. As you can see here it's a lovely view. And as you can see between the um, two hills over there, two mountains, that's a quarter of a palmer. Now this is a stage for concerts and things. As you can see here, the two sides and the middle open up and it becomes like a stage from the inside where they're singing and dancing and things. And these are all the, um, the seating to sit on. So that's quite nice, isn't it, for the summer? 